Hello, my name is Mikko and I'm going to introduce you Merry Tractor. MT700 is dedicated purpose-built tractor, mainly designed to operate with Merry Crusher power tools in large-scale land clearing projects. MT700 is the most efficient crawler tractor on the market, equipped with mechanical power takeoff PTO. It is efficient, versatile and adaptable. It is able to operate under extreme conditions where conventional tractors are no longer effective. MT700 is efficient due to high engine power and extreme duty mechanical power takeoff. The tractor works faster with lower fuel consumption per hectare than any other method. Powerful large displacement diesel engine produces extreme torque. Through a wide range of engine RPM, high torque is the most important engine value while crushing. The combination of power and massive torque allows the engine to operate at low RPM. When not pushed to its limit, the average fuel consumption is much lower without compromising efficiency and quality of work. Here we are in the air conditioning cabin with great vision to every direction. We have 180 degrees turnable seat with all the steering controls in it. It has three different working positions. Front, sideways and rear. Rear is the most used working position when working with the crusher. As you see I have a very comfortable working position. All the controls are near to me and I have a perfect vision to the working direction. We have three displays. One for diesel and two for tractor controls. One in front and one at the back. In steering wheel, we have driving direction selection, stepless driving speed adjustment from 0 to 16 km per hour, diesel RPM adjustment and main driving speed adjustment, low speed from 0 to 8 km per hour and high speed from 0 to 16 km per hour. Low speed is used for working and high speed is used for travel. With low speed we can reach the max track force which is about 16 tons. Through joystick we operate lift arms, top link and all the auxiliar hydraulic outputs. Lift arms are double acting and independently controlled by meaning we can push down with the lift arms and tilt them in sideways. It is very useful feature when working with the crusher in uneven terrains. We have two brake pedals, one at the rear and one in front. With brake pedal I can add slow down speed steplessly from adjusted till zero. It is very useful feature when working with the crusher. For example, when I'm approaching a stump, I can slow down the speed, go through the stump and then get back to adjusted working speed. In this place is shown all the needed information and some of the working parameters can be adjusted through the displays. In practice, we have built this tracker as simple as possible to keep it reliable. It means it only has the features which are needed and important. Everything else is stripped off. MT700 has a hydrostatic drive. As mentioned before, driving speed can be adjusted steplessly from zero to 16 kilometers per hour. 
MT700 is available with three different track options. Base rubber tracks, steel tracks or dual rubber tracks. Each track is 800 mm wide. Dual track can be attached next to this base rubber track. Then the tractor is as wide as it is long, giving very low ground pressure, about 185 grams per square centimeter. Drive gear inside the cover, large diameter aluminum carrier wheels, track tensioning cylinders. In rubber tracks, track tensioning is fully automatic. When we drive reverse, we have constant track tensioning force. When we drive forward, track tensioning force is adjusted based on the drive motor pressure. When the motor pressure increases, the track tensioning force increases too. At the back, we have massive lift arms, top link, auxiliar, hydraulic outputs, and the PTO. On the right side, we have all the hydraulic oil coolers. The, one, the ones above for gearbox oil cooling, PTO gear, and pump gear. The bigger ones below for main hydraulic oil cooling, basically one for each track. Bigger fans we can turn for maintenance and cleaning purpose. In working position all the fans are blowing, but for cleaning we can turn the rotating direction of all the fans. Let's have a look into the engine department. We have two fuel tanks, one on the left, 300 liters, and one on the right, about 200 liters. Here we have 16.2 liter, six cylinder Volvo diesel engine, creating 768 horsepower and nearly 3,300 Newton meter torque. Yes, you heard it correct, 768 horsepower and it can be all measured out mechanically through PTO. A bit later I'll show you how this can be done in a safe way. Bondioli built cooler having flex air turnable fan in it. Fan turning is used for cleaning. In working position fan is blowing. That's why we have a special fan in the hood to suck fresh air into the engine department. Air intake filter, fuel filters, oil filters on the other side. As you see, very easy access to everything. Let's go have a look into the pump room at the back. This is how the pump room looks like. As you see, plenty of space and very easy access to all main components and service points. 
All the main hydraulic components and steering systems are delivered by Sauer Danfoss. Let's have a look. How does the driveline look like? This is how the driveline is built with Mary Crusher. As you see, it is all mechanical. No belts or chains, only gears. The Suokanen manufactured PTO gear is designed for safe transmission of high torque. The integrated PTO clutch works as an overload and release clutch. The PTO clutch protects the entire driveline from tractors to crushing implement. All the Merri crushers have POC pressure operated overload clutches. These clutches are Suokuren designed and patented. Diesel gives its max torque in range between 12 to 1700 RPM. Thanks to its high torque range, we are able to keep the working RPM very low. This keeps the average fuel consumption in very low level. Also, the lifetime of the components is longer when they are not pushed to their limits all the time. Here you see the PTO gear and the PTO clutch. Working principle of the clutch is very simple. It works like a car brake but opposite way. When PTO is connected, operating pressure to the clutch is brought through this rotating nipple. Then it goes to brake calipers and cylinders which are pressing the brake pads tightly against the brake disc. Then the PTO is connected. During working, when the peak loads appear, the clutch is slipping a little all the time. For example, when crushing a big stump. Cutting off the peak loads is the key element to keep the drive line in shape under these heavy torques. Benefits of this patented clutch are following. The power or torque of the clutch is not RPM dependent. The torque remains the same in all RPMs. Clutch is designed to last heat. It is partly built out of car parts, brake calipers and brake pads. As we all know, these parts are designed to work under high temperature. So, when the parts do heat up, instead of losing the friction and torque, the friction increases and torque increases. And also, the consumable parts, mainly brake pads, are very easy to change and they are very low cost. As you saw on the picture, on Crusher, we have also these POG clutches. Working principle of them is exactly the same. To prevent too much of slipping, we have built electronic slip control to the clutch. Simply said, we are measuring the RPM on each side of the clutch and comparing these values to each other. When there's a difference between these values, it means that the clutch is slipping. On display, we can set the max allowed slipping percentage for the clutch. When this value is exceeded, then the system cuts off the PTO. Thank you guys. This was a brief introduction of Merry Tractor.